Not far from the Callanish Stones lies a small village on the coast of the Isle of Lewis. This is a traditional Scottish black house village. These houses are very interesting and very distinctive. If you look in here, they have a double door, one here at the back and one here at the front, so that in the wild, wet, cold conditions of winter, you could step inside, close this door before going inside to try and keep the heat and warmth inside the house. The houses themselves have really thick walls. These stone walls are about a, a metre or so wide. They're really, really thick and often on the inside had insulation to again keep that warmth in. But as the roofs are the most distinctive things of these houses, as you can see they're completely thatched and down here there's one that's in the process of being thatched, this, this big bale here. They put a thick layer, 30, 40 centimetres of hay on the top pack it down as tightly as they, they possibly can to keep, keep it as insulative as possible. And then all around the edges, traditionally there'd be, there'd be grass planted and that would seal the edges of the roof, again to keep in and make sure there was no little gaps for heat to escape, to keep it as warm as possible inside. Then inside they'd always have a fire going with peat on it burning and making as much heat as possible, often creating a lot of soot which is one of the reasons they were nicknamed Black Houses, because of the soot on the inside of the roofs. Look at this massive pile of peat cuttings. For centuries, people would go out onto the moorlands and onto the heathlands and cut out these sections of peat. They'd put them in these piles and leave them to dry for weeks or even months, and then they'd be ready. And this was the fuel that kept people warm during winter when in, during the cold, dark weeks and months they'd retreat into these houses and they'd burn these and slowly give off a little bit of heat and that's what enabled them to survive during the winter months. The burning peat has a very, very distinctive smell and I can, I can smell it actually in the air. One of these houses must have a peat fire on the go right now. So it's interesting to see these old traditions kept alive in these beautiful little villages.